Hey guys, what's up and welcome to 50 Building Ideas. Today I'm going to hopefully give you some inspiration and some great things that you can build in your own world. So, without further ado, let's crack on with it. First up guys, you can build a lovely starter house at the very beginning of your world. And then you can make a garden complete with trees, flowers, paths and anything you can think of. Then move quickly onto a bee farm complete with very big bee faces and lots and lots of storage. Then make a mob farm for gunpowder and a sugarcane farm for paper so you can make lots of rockets to fly around all your brand new creations. Swim on over and create a river. Why you say? I've, I have no idea but it looks pretty cool so you know, do it. Build some custom mountains guys. It's, it's pretty difficult but it's pretty cool. Now for this one, you're gonna need a lot of seeds, but make yourselves a giant medieval farm, which wouldn't be complete without a windmill. Now, no medieval city is complete without a really nice gate. Now, this could go in any type of city, but you could create a vineyard. It looks really, really cool, and you can complete it with things like carts, little sheds, and lots of buildings. And while you're at it, why not just make an entire medieval village? But don't forget to build a stables for all your horsey friends. Why not build an ice cream shop? There's literally no reason not to. Time to step it up now. Create a wool farm, a slime farm, and an iron farm, complete with sadly burning iron golems. Just quickly guys, if you're enjoying the video, please hit that like button to let YouTube know that you had a great time here at my channel, and also subscribe if you haven't already for more awesome content like this. So next up guys, you might want to make a villager breeder, and a villager selector, and then also a huge hall to trade with all your villagers in. But then you're going to need something to trade with the villagers for emeralds. But don't worry, you can put other villagers to work for your benefit, like the evil overlord that you are, and create fully automatic carrot and potato farms. Or a pumpkin and melon farm. Or get very technical and build yourself your own raid emerald farm. Now every good city needs a bank, a town hall, and a wharf. And if you're going to have a wharf, you're going to need a boat, or a large ship in this case. Now to build all of these things, you're going to need a concrete converter, with TNT of course, a giant automated sorting storage system with aquarium floor because reasons. Then you'll want a wood farm also with TNT because you're going to want to build a giant tree with floating islands complete with an unfinished dwarven mine. Aquarium is optional, oxymoron's free with every storage system. Kids, ask your parents first. If you wanted to be a bit warmer while minecrafting, why not head over to the nether? Here you can make a blaze spawner farm and an awesome nether hub so you never get lost. Speaking of lost, where is my nether hub? Ah yes, here it is. Make one of these so you never get lost. Once you've found your nether hub, make an ice boat highway to get around the nether faster. While you're in the nether, don't forget to collect some soul sand and nether wart so you can go back to the overworld and create a nether wart farm. You should now have all you need to start your potion brewing room as well. I'm not sure I've sounded ever that enthusiastic in my entire life. After that, you could always create a battle station with everything you need to gear up and continue working hard. I personally have dispensers that drop exactly 32 fireworks or torches or my food source. Create a kelp farm to power your next creation, a giant super smelter with 64 furnaces for full speed smelting pleasure. And lava. Everyone loves lava. Until they fall into it with 900 levels of XP. Next up, you can make a mushroom farm to turn it into a big mushroom farm, which would make the witches at your brand new witch farm very happy. That is, if they weren't dying painfully and slowly to suffocation damage. But you're an evil overlord, so meh. Unlike me, you could create a mansion, and not just the landscaping of a mansion. A lovely Victorian farmhouse would go nicely out in the countryside, or maybe try a bit of hard labour and build an industrial coal mine. Just down the road could be a theatre, including an interior of seats, a stage, and of course, a chandelier. Or, you could maybe attempt an entire Victorian city like I am in my Sticks Plays Minecraft videos on my channel. Last but not least, you could attempt the very difficult task of creating a guardian farm from an ocean monument, where you can automatically get guardian drops. Well, that's it guys, 50 plus build ideas. I hope this video inspired and helped you get some cool ideas for what you could build. If this video was useful, please let me know by hitting the like button, subscribing, and hitting the bell to stay up to date with all my latest content. 
Hit me up on Twitter with pics of anything you build as a result of this video. I'd love to see all your creations. All my links are down in the description. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.